Pouring, planning, and perfecting concrete properly. Pouring concrete. Notice how Fred Sanford in the right top hand corner is pouring the concrete and filling it to the top of the form, covering the rebar, but leaving the vertical rebar exposed for columns at a later time. To the left, you can see Howie Mandel drinking a Coca-Cola while he watches his co-worker pour the concrete. Over to the left corner, we're about to zoom in on, you can see the driver of the concrete truck working the truck from a handheld control. Here the co-workers pour the concrete as other co-workers come behind and vibrate the concrete to consolidate the concrete to minimize air that's in the concrete and make it hard, making it stronger and harder as well. Notice how they use a pump with the truck because it's such a tight place for the truck to get into. Now the workers are beginning to vibrate the concrete again while the other workers show them where to screed and strike off the concrete. Notice how they screed the top of the concrete to get it smooth while the other construction workers rake the concrete into the low spots to give them a better chance to pull it away. Here my boy Dallas Jeffries uses a trowel to finish the concrete around the plumbing and utilities here. Notice how the co-worker in the back uses the bull float as he goes in a back to forward motion. How he tilts the bull float as he goes forward, he tilts it back. And as he comes back towards him, he tilts it downward. Low drag, minimal distance. Here Gerald uses a trowel to smooth and finish the concrete around the edge of the form and also the rebar. Notice the rebar sticking up where there will be a column and again they are screeding and striking the concrete to smooth it out. Here they finish the concrete with a bowl float as the other workers pour the concrete this is due to the heat.